Okay, so now we've just got to get our um, switches ready. So, we're going to need our red and black wire that we um, sorted out earlier. And um, all I'm going to do with the black wire is, this might be a little bit awkward to see with camera angles and whatnot, but I'm going to attach it to the bottom two pins. So I'm going to thread it down into the bottom pin on the first switch. Okay, so now I've got our black wire threaded to the um, bottom two pins. I'm just going to add a little bit of solder just to keep that in place. Right, there we go. So like I say, a little bit hard to see, but out of the um, three pins, um, we're just, yeah, the bottom two are having the ground wire soldered to them. Next, we need to attach our positive wire, our 5 volts, and we also need a 2.2K resistor. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to twist the two together, okay, as you can see they sort of want to stay together, and we're just going to add a little bit of solder to that. And all we're going to do is solder our end onto the top of the switch. resistor it's going to go over to the other switch again on the top row on our top row we've got our 5 volts coming in which is joining to the top pin on the first switch and then it goes through a 2.2k resistor over to the other side and down the bottom bottom row we've got our ground wire joining those two up so now we need to do is solder onto the two chips that we lifted the legs on Okay, so before we attach to um, these two PPU chips um, with our wire, um, we're just going to take a little bit of precaution and we're just going to put some insulation tape um, just down on the contacts because we're going to rest a wire across them and um, we don't want to touch any of the other, other legs. come back and secure this with a um, bit of hot glue as well just to give the legs a bit of support. Okay, so I've just um, gone and prepared some wire here. Now it's up to you how you do this, whether you want to um, have two separate pieces of wire or whether you just want to um, do like I'm going to do, which is just have one wire and a couple of pieces exposed. So as you can see we need to join both these legs together on the same wire. I'm just going to put a little bit of solder on there just to secure it. There we go, that's those two joined up. Yeah, one for our CIC chunk. Very, very delicate. And now that we have that attached, I'm just going to go back 
and put some hot glue onto it so it uh, doesn't move around on us. Yeah, I'm just going to do the same for these two as well. Okay, so we'll just give that a moment to set and um, then we'll get it attached to our switch and we're finished. Okay, so now that our uh, hot glue is dried, we can uh, attach the ends of our wires. So our white wire goes to our region chip and the switch that has the 5 volt feed coming in, we're just going to attach it to that. So our white wire from our region chip goes into the switch and has the 5 volt feed. Okay. And the blue wire that goes off to, or whatever colour you have, but the blue wire that goes off to our uh, two PPU chips gets uh, joined up with the other switch. And all I'm going to do is just add a little bit of um, hot glue to these switches just to secure and insulate everything into place. And that's it. Okay, so now we've done our, um, our mod, um, we'd better give this a bit of a test. So on the back here, We've got our two new switches, and uh, this one here is our um, language setting. So that's on uh, Japanese, and that'll be on English. And uh, this one here is our uh, Hertz setting, so that, that'll be on 60 Hertz, and that'll be on 50 Hertz. So nice and easy. And whenever I mod these, I always use these switches because um, I like to hide them on the back, so the machine you know, still looks nice and it means you can just reach over and just go by feel. So nice and easy to quickly change them. So we'd better give this thing a quick test. So I'll do as well. Get that one out of the way. find a game. Alright, so we'll start with a, uh, yep, that'll do, a Super Famicom game. And we've got no picture, which is expected, because it'll be in the wrong settings, so we'll turn that back off. And we'll just flick our switches up. And if I reach in and flick the Hertz switch, you'll see that we get borders all of a sudden. And I'll flick that back. So you can change the 1560 Hertz on the fly, but you can't um, can't do the language setting on the fly, which is fair enough. So I'll turn it off. Try. Yeah, that'll do.
Awesome. So there we go. All working.